Hi, Jim Colt here with Maverick CNC. Uh, We've got a hypertherm plasma cutting system on this machine. Uh, just a, a, a little tip, uh, we, we get questions all the time about uh, cutting diamond plate or tread plate. Uh, often it's aluminum, decorative aluminum tread plate or steel tread plate that might be used in a truck body. Uh, and because it has all those little bumps, all those little treads on it, uh, a lot of people ask questions about it. Um, it, it. So it really depends which way you cut it. Uh, there are two choices. One is to cut it with the bumps up. One is to cut it with the bumps down. Uh, if you've got a machine with, with no height control or poor height control, cut it with the bumps down um, because you can't, you, you're going to have collisions, you're going to have problems with the bumps on it. If you've got a machine with a good quality integrated height control like this Maverick CNC has, put the bumps up and you're going to get the best quality. And what you want to do for the thickness uh, rating of it, uh, the nominal thickness of the material not including the bump, is the speed rating and the spec that you should actually set for right out of the right out of the cut charts that are built into the CNC control or in the hypertherm manual. So put the bumps up, uh, cut it like it's just a piece of eighth inch steel if it has an eighth inch nominal thickness and you're going to get the best cut quality. It's kind of fun to watch as the torch height control accurately climbs over every one of those bumps without making contact with the plate. Very good process and it's a good way to cut that material where uh, that's material that people thought in the past they had to cut it with uh, with a hand plasma torch or with a shear and today it can be cut on CNC cutting tables.